already determined the theme of a poem. In this lesson, you will learn how to determine the theme of a poem by seeing how characters respond to challenges. Let's review. We've learned that a character's actions show that character's traits. For example, in the beginning, Casey ignored the pitch, which led us to believe that he was feeling pretty confident in himself to let a pitch go by without even trying. We've also learned that the mood of characters can change during the poem. We looked at the characters of the crowd. At first, their mood was hopeless because their team was losing the baseball game. But then we saw that the mood can change. Later, the crowd felt hopeful because Casey was coming up to bat and they thought he could save the day. Now, a common mistake when trying to figure out the theme of a poem is to keep everything you've learned about the poem in separate compartments of your mind. So far, we've looked at this poem's plot and actions. We've looked at the characters and their traits. We've examined the beginning, middle, and end. And we've looked at the mood. Now, each one of these elements is important on its own. But finding the theme requires you to put all of these elements together, since the theme or message involves the poem as one whole. Remember that the theme is the poet's message to the reader. We're going to figure out the theme of our poem, Casey at the Bat, by Ernest Lawrence Thayer, by looking at how characters overcome a challenge. The characters in our poem are Casey and the fans. Let's see if we can figure out a theme or a message by looking care carefully at Casey and seeing how he overcomes a challenge. Now in our poem, we know that Casey had to face a challenge. But what was his challenge? I know a challenge is a problem, so Casey must have faced some kind of problem. Well, I remember that at the beginning of the story, Mudville is losing. Casey has the challenge of being the last one to bat for his team. It was up to him to win the game. That's a pretty big problem. So let's think. How did Casey respond to this challenge? Well, in the middle of the poem, when he gets the first pitch, he says, that ain't my style, and then he gets a strike. But then he ignores the next pitch and gets another strike. I would summarize how he responded to this challenge by noting that Casey doesn't swing at the first two pitches. He feels much too confident about himself. Now let's look later in the poem where he was still facing the challenge of being Mudville's last hope at winning. How is Casey responding to his challenge now? Well, after he doesn't try for the first two pitches, he clenches his teeth with hate, he pounds the bat violently, and then he strikes out, meaning that he missed the last ball. So I'll summarize how he responded to his challenge by noting he was angry, but it was too late for him to start trying. He struck out. So we've seen how Casey responded to his challenge. He didn't even try for the first two pitches because he thought he was better than that. And then when the final pitch came, he missed it. He struck out and his team lost. So what does this say overall about Casey? What can we learn or what message can we take away from the way Casey responded to his challenge? It seems to me that the message here is that too much self-confidence can lead to disappointment and trouble. This means that we've found a theme for our poem. So when you want to determine a theme in a poem, first choose a character and find parts where the character faces a challenge. Then ask yourself, how does the character respond to this challenge? Finally, you can look at how the character responded to the challenge overall in order to determine a lesson or a theme for the poem. In this lesson, you have learned how to determine the theme of a poem by seeing how characters respond to challenges.